are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Happy New Year to you all. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos in 2024. <laughs> Be blessed, guys, and I really appreciate you much for your love and your support. But if it's your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. You will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload on this channel. So dear friends, in our today's video, we are going to be having a story time of a Nigerian lady based in the UK who found love on online dating apps with a Romanian guy. But this Romanian guy is based in Ireland. So my dear beautiful ladies, I know some of you who have got very, very bad experience with Romanian guys <laughs> right now you're like ah Bella for me Bella if I see a guy is from Romania it's X but if you watched my video where I talked about countries to avoid <laughs> or to be careful about when you are on online dating apps guys from those countries Romania was among but I also talked about Romanian guys who live abroad so if you did not watch that video go watch it because this guy is from Romania but based in Ireland so he lives abroad <laughs> and another thing guys I told you when you start chatting with a guy just observe how he treats you observe the actions even if he is from a country like Germany that does not make him a serious guy if his actions are bad if his actions are showing you he is unserious. <laughs> yes, guys, if you have been avoiding Romanian guys on online dating apps, now it's time to give it a second thought <laughs> using the tips that I gave you guys. So I thought I should make things clear on this for you <laughs> before we jump into this beautiful online dating success love story. So guys... I know you might have come across this love story on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, because this couple has got a YouTube channel, a couple's channel, which goes by the name of Sinto and Gabriel. <laughs> they also shared their How We Met video. So now you'll be like, Bella, if they shared How We Met video, why is that you're sharing it again? Yes, it's because... In this video, we have got very exclusive information for you guys <laughs> in this beautiful online dating success love story that is going to help you very, very much if you are on online dating apps searching. So don't click off. Just grab a glass of wine, a glass of water, some popcorns, a juice, anything to keep you company while enjoying this love story because I'll be here taking you through <laughs> this love story, giving you online dating tips and tricks that will be very helpful for you. One last thing before I welcome Sinto and Gabriel to share their beautiful online dating success love story. After listening to their love story, guys, everything that I've been advising you, I've been advising you that you guys have to follow online dating rules. So this story is an example that if you follow all online dating rules, you are going to succeed. So stop telling yourself, I don't think we should just follow any rules. You know, it is just by luck. My dear sister... <laughs> If you do that, you will never ever succeed. Finding a guy online, of course, you are going to find that guy online. But will that guy be a quality guy? Will he be the guy that you are going to spend the rest of your life with? No, and simply because if he is not a quality guy, that relationship at some point 
will end and i don't want you guys to be out there coming to me bella oh my god thank you so much for your advice thank you for guiding me i'll phone the one and after a year we come back here crying that it did not work out no that is why i'm insisting on you following the online dating rules you have got nothing to lose guys okay do it and let's see how it goes but i am very sure if you do that it doesn't matter how long it takes you will find that quality guy this 2024 let us focus on finding a quality guy not just a white guy or a black guy or any guy of any color <laughs> just because he is a man no a quality one <laughs> so yes i'll be taking you through the rules that i told you guys to follow and we can see at some point Singto did not follow those rules and what happened after not following those rules and i cannot even blame her she didn't have any experience but after getting experience of course she followed the rules and we are here today to share her beautiful online dating success love story so without wasting much of your time let me welcome this beautiful couple Sinto and gabriel to share their love story welcome lovebirds <laughs> hi, hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome to our, our channel. channel today we are going to be telling a story of how we met and how we got to be together are you excited <laughs> uh, before to meet her i have few relationships they was not lasting longer after i did not have luck in physical relationship i said i would choose online dating i saw advertise everywhere on facebook on google and i choose to try and to see what will happen with the online dating i succeed somehow like uh, finding some girls i talk a little bit with them and in the end i find my wife <laughs> <laughs> what attracted me so much about your profile was the description making the, the different type of food like spicy and like you put too much flavor in that text so attract me a lot and also your charming and beautiful pictures i couldn't uh, stop myself until i connect with you after i text few times she didn't answer and i was insisting a lot for her to respond back to me and after three weeks of continuous texting i succeed to receive an answer and right away i wanted to see her face to face so guys to our first pause Gabriel says that what first attracted him on online dating apps after coming across Sinto's profile was her description. How many times guys have been insisting on working on your description? Some of you ignore it and think it doesn't work, but I know there are those who have got a very good, good description, still you haven't found the one and right now you are confused girl wait on god's time but trust me if your online dating profile is the way it is supposed to be you will eventually find that right guy that quality guy so the description attracted him first work on your profiles guys work on your description it's very very important because guys on the description that is where you describe yourself who are you? What is your character, your personality, your hobbies? Everything is in that description. Don't ignore it. It's very, very important. That is why all dating apps had to put a description part. Remember, this is online dating. Guys, follow the rules. And dear beautiful ladies, I am still on the description. Everything you're going to write on your description should match you, should match your character, should match your personality. If you wrote, these are my hobbies, they should be really your hobbies. If you wrote, these are the things I like to do when I'm free, when I have free time, it should be the things that you really do. Don't just go around and start copying other people's description. 
because <laughs> everyone is different. My description won't be the same as your description. I'm telling you this because I've been working with ladies, my own clients. When I write down a description of, for example, Jane, and then Anita comes, I won't write the same, same description as a previous client because people are different. That is why I have to talk to you to get to know you and ask you your hobbies. Or sometimes I tell you, fill in your hobbies because it should be something for you. If we are going to put something that does not match you, just because you want to impress a guy that comes across your profile, then work done zero. Because this guy will come across your profile, he will be very impressed. He will see, oh my God, I match this lady. Everything in her description, her personality, we are a match. Then send you a message. When you start chatting, <laughs> maybe in your description you wrote, I am an extrovert. <laughs> And when he comes to chat with you, he finds out it's the opposite. You are an introvert. So he's going to be turned off. A guy who is a coward will just ghost you. But a guy who is really a good guy will just write to you that, sorry, we are not a match. I thought we were a match. And you will be there like, oh my God, my village people are after me. <laughs> Imagine I went through this guy's profile. He's a good guy and he seemed serious. Why is that? He's telling me you're not a match. What is wrong with me? Am I ugly? <laughs> That's not a case, my dear sister. Make sure your description matches you. I repeat. Let's continue with this story. <laughs> my own story began from when I was still back in Africa. A friend of mine visited me and she introduced me to online dating. That was back in 2018. Some weeks into the online dating, I met someone that lives in America. We started dating. We were together for about four years. We were in a serious relationship. We couldn't meet because of financial reasons. In 2021, I moved to the UK to study. I continued that relationship for another year. We had a discussion and realized that meeting wasn't going to be possible for us because he wasn't really looking to have a family. I decided to move on. So guys, I know if you have been following me for so long, you will not do this kind of a mistake that Sinto did. But remember, Sinto had not come across <laughs> my YouTube channel yet. So she was in the dark. I have been insisting on this. I've made lots, lots of videos talking about this. And today we have a vivid example that if you don't follow online dating rules, you will cry. <laughs> yes, you are chatting with a guy. You are on online dating apps, chatting with a guy. Everything is flowing. I have clicked. <laughs> and you think maybe he might be your future husband, don't chat more than three months without knowing when you guys are meeting. In real life, I advise you be strict on that so that no one wastes your time. So, Sinto chatted with a guy. She was in a relationship with this American guy for four good years. And this guy kept on prolonging that relationship till when Sinto realized that this guy is not for me. This guy does not plan to ever meet me. This guy doesn't even plan to have a family with me. So it's time to end it. But if Sinto kept on entertaining this guy and accepted whatever he was telling her, she could have still be single. Talking as an online dating coach, someone who has got enough experience on these things, this American guy was taking or was considering Singto as just a virtual girlfriend. Okay, let us all learn from this. Other things have been happening, you know? <laughs> On the ground, under the carpet. <laughs> it's not only Sinto. Lots of ladies have been going through this situation of being considered as a virtual girlfriend because no experience, they keep on waiting. They keep on being that understanding girlfriend. <laughs> and at the end of the day, they cry. <laughs> 
April 2023, I created my profile again. I joined interracial dating center. Then the first one I joined at the time was Afro introduction. I just created my profile in April and I didn't check back in for about six weeks. And after I created that profile, I have been receiving lots of notification in my email that I've been getting messages, but I just don't check back. Sometimes you just feel like, oh my God, this thing that I've done and I've been in the other relationship for four years, I hope, does it even work? So I didn't have the motivation to go to log on. And one of these days I was just scrolling through YouTube and I stumbled on Bella's profile. I saw all the how we met stories and I started viewing all our content and I was motivated because I thought to myself, if others can get to meet someone on online dating, why can't I? Those Bella stories of how we met were like a motivation to me and you know, Bella's caption, I met my husband on a dating app after two weeks of dating, after one month of meeting and I was like, wow, this thing is, some people are getting it quicker, so let's do this again. I went back to log on to the my dating site and I saw loads of messages and I saw Gabriel's message. So dear friends, this is for you all that have been on online dating apps searching but you have been facing loads of challenges. Actually, your online dating search journey has turned out to be a nightmare. Please, please, I'm asking you all, do not give up. Don't let that bad experience that you have come across on online dating apps stop you from getting what you want, stop you from reaching your goals. Please, please, dear beautiful ladies, cause those guys that made your experience to be bad, 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 bad on online dating apps, they are losers. Yes. <laughs> and do you know why I call them losers? It's because a guy who is a loser, no matter how good you are, <laughs> no matter you are a wife material, you have got everything that any man can dream to have in a woman, he won't see it. This is the truth. So a guy like that, for me, is a loser. So why should you let a loser ruin your life? Guys, this is online dating. Stop giving 100% of your trust to a guy that you have been chatting, let's say, for a month, just because he has been telling you good words, then he is the one. Later on, he turns out not to then it's a nightmare. Then you go into a depression. Have you ever imagined what could be this guy's life on the other side? Because <laughs> you are going through a depression just because of this loser. But have you ever imagined his life after breaking your heart? <laughs> the answer is simple, guys. He keeps on with his journey to play games online. A guy like that who is a loser is not looking for a wife. Dear beautiful ladies, put it in your mind. So stop wasting your time on that. Move on with your life. Be determined, you know, <laughs> that I must find that right guy that I am searching for. God, please help me. And you are going to succeed. And I am very, very happy, very grateful to God that Sinto came across my YouTube channel and through the success stories on my channel, inspired her to move forward, to start again looking for love and forget all the bad experience that she went through with that American guy, dating her for four years and then turning out he was considering her as only a virtual girlfriend. So this story teaches us that not all men that you'll find on online dating apps are bad. Yes, exist those bad, 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 bad guys on online dating apps, but also exist those good, 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 good guys on online dating apps, just like Gabriel. It's up to you to differentiate, know the difference of a serious guy and of a guy who is unserious. Please, please. Gabriel's message stand out because he sent me a message and for about six weeks, he kept sending me loads of messages every day. He would send me messages. Hello, how are you? Hello, when you log in, can you respond? Hello, I've been trying to get your number. Hello, how are you? Hello, is everything okay? I was like, oh my God. <laughs> 
this person seems serious because they have been sending me all of these messages let's get to know him uh, so i sent him my whatsapp number almost immediately he sent me a message on whatsapp after i succeed to take her number i chat with her around three days right away i decide i need to see her face to face i feel like I can't stop myself without going on the browser, book a flying ticket right away and travel to meet face to face. Like I don't want to lose this opportunity and this chance to be taken by other guys. Is that how I fly quickly to come and see her? Gabriel was really fast and quick in his decision making. It was like God was taking me from one extreme to the other. The previous relationship took up to four years with no significant progress and the next relationship was just like <laughs> God works in mysterious ways, isn't it? <laughs> um, so friends, I've got another tip here. This is the sign of a serious guy. A guy who is interested in you you will see the efforts that he puts in to get to know you this guy will check on you consistently without stopping we can see a very good example is gabriel he kept on checking on sinto till she responded <laughs> that means the guy is really interested in you wants to get to know you so let me add something here <laughs> This is from my own experience guiding guys on online dating apps. If a guy is really into you, you will not have just a simple misunderstanding and this guy will disappear in your life. <laughs> no, he won't. No matter what challenge will come between you, this guy will stick with you. He will not ghost you. He will not ignore your messages. He will not ignore your calls. Trust me, dear beautiful ladies. A very good example, I had a client of mine, I'm not going to mention his name, but I just want to give an example so that you can understand why I'm telling you, if a guy is really interested in you, he will not run away. Because I've been getting lots of comments, lots of DMs on my Instagram, ladies asking me, Bella, this guy stopped answering my calls. Bella, this guy stopped responding to my messages. Bella, what can I do? The guy has ghosted me. So yes, guys, I had this client and he's a guy. Also, he was way older than the lady. So when he told me the whole story, you know, of their relationship, the first thing that I saw was that young lady was taking advantage of him, taking only money from this guy because this guy could go to Western Union three times a week. So I gave him some questions, you know, to put the lady on a test, you know, so that we also clear on his side that the lady is using him. Cause you know, I'm a woman and sometimes you can advise something. Maybe a guy can be like, ah, I don't know. Maybe it's that thing of, of women hating each other. <laughs> You know, we are human beings. <laughs> so I don't want to solve a case and a guy remains with lots of, you know, doubts in that. I just wanted to open his eyes, see that the lady is using him. So yes, guys, he went and asked the lady the questions, but unfortunately, the lady failed the test. <laughs> After failing the test, this client of mine kept on telling me or asking me for other questions so that he can keep on testing her. Meaning, even if she failed the first test, he still wants to keep on trying. So I kept on, you know, assisting him and she kept on failing the test. And whenever this guy could ask questions, the lady could get annoyed. <laughs> One time she got annoyed and blocked the guy for four weeks so i had to ask this guy really is that how a lady who is in love with you should act blocking you for four weeks <laughs> and the guy was like yes bella but i'll still wait for one more month if she does not return then i'm going to send a message to her to tell her it's over i was like no problem you know the decision 
is in your hands. It's not up to me to decide for you what to do. For me, I just guided you to see if the lady is the one or not. So guys, after one month, <laughs> this lady returned back and blocked the guy and was like, I'm so, so sorry, but she returned back because she wanted some money to do something. <laughs> I will not tell you what the money was for. Because <laughs> maybe she might be here watching me. Because <laughs> I've got lots, lots of ladies watching me from her country. So guys, after the lady unblocking him and asking for money, you know my client had to contact me. He told me everything and I was like, you see, I told you this lady is more interested in money than love cause and to my beautiful ladies watching me please comment below in the comment section if you can block a guy you really love so much for one month <laughs> i really want to know i told him you know what this relationship will not end well you are going to end up being disappointed but guys you can't believe this guy was not ready to end that relationship simply because the guy was into that lady so you can see the difference when a guy is really into you wants to know you wants that relationship to work he will not just simply run just because of a little misunderstanding so guys fast forward because the story is long about this guy yes the relationship ended in a disappointment just like i had told him because it's the lady that sent him a message and was like it's over i was really really upset because i know how many genuine ladies that are online dating apps searching for love and then someone finds the guy and then they play games on him you know it's really really upsetting but i talked to him and he decided to take a break he will return back. And when he returns back, I've got a very good plan for him. <laughs> Matchmaking. <laughs> yeah, but I never wanted to pressure him or anything. I just told him, okay, take a break. So from this, I think you have learned something. Serious guys don't run. Serious guys don't ghost. After we started talking a week or a few days into the, I think we started talking on the Monday and on the Thursday, wow, well, because we, we've been communicating every day at this point, doing video calls and all of that. On Thursday, he messaged me and noticed I was at home. He asked if I wasn't working, so I told him I would be at home for the next few weeks. Immediately, he was like, God answered his prayers. <laughs> <laughs> he booked his flight that Thursday to come see me on the Friday, like booked his flight for the next day. He has already booked an Airbnb where he'll be staying for the weekend and he'll be with visitors. While we were talking on my profile on the uh, dating site, I wrote detail that I like cooking, I wrote all, I, I gave a detailed description and I wrote that I like cooking, I, write, I wrote all the food I like eating. While we were talking, he told me that he also liked cooking and he would be cooking his traditional European meal for me on his first visit <laughs> when he got to my house that Friday night. wanted also to be something special as a proper date. I said, we will do it my way, not restaurant. So I will cook for our date. <laughs> <laughs> After we had the meal. So I have seen lots of ladies failing to differentiate. You find a lady is telling you, oh my God, Bella, this guy is too fast. I think he is love bombing me. And a guy who is love bombing me, no, I don't want such kind of a guy. Dear beautiful ladies, if you see a guy is moving really, really fast, before you start judging him that maybe he's only love bombing you, Put him on a test to know if he is a serious guy or he is not a serious guy and it doesn't take a lot because some of you have been losing really really good guys just because these guys were moving things fast yes he wants things to move fast but also on your side make sure you have time to clarify things before you get married to this guy that is moving fast than just ignoring him or ending a relationship with him. 
So in this story, we see that Gabriel was moving things very, very fast. But on Sinto's side, she did not jump immediately into bed with Gabriel. Not at all. That did not happen. Something else that is very, very important, and I had talked about this in my previous videos, and this story is a vivid example of what I told you. Dear beautiful friends, if a guy is really interested in you, he has seen something special in you. He has seen all the good qualities that he wanted his woman to have and you have them. This guy will want to move things fast because he will be scared to lose you. Some other guy might come and see all your good qualities and take you away. So it's not that this guy is love bombing you, you know, moving things fast, 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 because something is off with him. <laughs> Wants to marry you before you discover that something is off with him. No, you can take this the positive way. But again, check all the red flags before you make important decisions like getting married. But a guy who is desperately looking for a wife wants to settle down when he finds that right woman with all the things that he ever wanted in a woman he will want to settle down first and start a family not a guy that is going to chat with you for one year two years three years and no concrete plans <laughs> that means this guy is not even scared that someone serious might come and take you away so now you can differentiate after we had the meal he was cooking for me until like 12 12 a.m in the morning and i was like <laughs> in the mid middle of the night so he put in lots um, so much effort in cooking the meal and i really appreciated his effort after that he went to his airbnb after my past relationships i decided no more white in my life i will search for a black girl and that my my search was really straight on black. I saw many international couples, so I said I need to try. I have a good intuition, uh, everything will be okay with a black girl. I was specifically looking for a white man. The reason was my previous relationship, he was black, he's an American, but he was African American, and the experience, he was really nice, but the, I felt like, I don't know, I had the intuition that let's let's try a different race because you can't be doing the same thing and expect a different result is it so we said okay let's let's try this race let's see what's what what would happen what would become of the race the african men will always make you know like you know there's a saying i'm the man of the house they will want you to to know in case you've forgotten you they, you always be reminded that they are the man of the house <laughs> but i always feel like the white men they are a bit easy going and they are more affectionate in my experience more loving and caring that's just my opinion disclaimer don't come after me <laughs> just do what works for you but what works what i felt would work for me was trying to beat a white man so <laughs> but that was why we joined interracial dating i joined interracial dating because already the name of the, the web website says interracial dating so you know anybody there as people trying to date people outside of their race we didn't enjoy the good days because of two reasons one was religious reasons we wanted to wait until marriage the second reason was because we are two different people that we don't know our history we don't know where we are coming from you know when you meet people online that you've not met before you don't know their social background you don't know their lifestyle so it's always good to be cautious we said to test ourselves to be sure of each other. I don't have from where to know if she's healthy or not, or she doesn't have from where to know if I'm health, healthy or not. If you live in the UK, even in Ireland, there are free STD testing sites. So it's the link. I can link it below this video. You can just go online, create a profile on their website and request a home testing kit. 
they will send you the testing kit so you just use it you take your blood sample they'll bring a needle you, you take your blood sample and then you insert it you, you also do your urine sample and then you insert and get your sample from your private area then you post it back to them everything is free you're not paying for nothing you post it back to them and in a week you get your test results they will email your test results so they do a list of std tests they do syphilis glamodia hiv hepatitis b and gonorrhea he got his own test kit posted to him and i also got my own test kit posted to me so we decided to check ourselves so the two reasons were religious reasons being christians we wanted to wait until marriage and also it's always good to just know your your um, health status and our advice to ladies and gentlemen out there trying to meet someone online dating ensure that before you become intimate with them try to get to know their health status because it's for your own good remember you're going to be getting married to them and if you want to have children you will get to uh, enjoy the goodies at some point so it's always good to just know what you're getting yourself into no offense to anyone but it's always just good to know what you're getting yourself into yeah so that was the reason so there are those guys whom you will tell let's test let us check our health and they will refuse they'll start telling you you don't trust me blah 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 if a guy opposes on checking health cancel move forward even if he planned to come to africa or wherever part of the world you are and get married to you don't get married in that relationship because we don't know people's health history you know so you can't just go and sleep with someone just like that without knowing health wise how they are concerning our proposal um, we started talking on the monday and when he got here he proposed to me on the saturday a yes. day after we met he proposed to me he bought his ring all the way from ireland <laughs> He brought his ring all the way from Ireland and then he did a surprise proposal for me. I bought the ring from Ireland. I was ready to propose her in that day to be sure she will be mine and not anyone else. <laughs> Concerning the bride price, I paid the bride price, everything was done, and I received the wife. <laughs> <laughs> like pay for the pastor. You pay for the pastor and you receive the <laughs> what you paid for. So it's, did you receive what you paid for? Yeah. <laughs> when I told my family about him was after he proposed to me what made me think uh, gabriel was the one was he's a very cheerful giver he has an open heart he goes the extra mile to please people he's very free and he's very very generous <laughs> while we were dating he could send me money I, I don't ask for the money just ask uh, how are you coping this that so he he always sends me money he always buys me a gift and for our wedding he his wedding gift to me was a car <laughs> I will be putting the picture on the screen. Aside from the car, he has also gotten me jewelry. He has got me lots of jewelry, <laughs> lots of um, bracelets, earrings, necklace. So he really gives. He gives a lot. He has bought me clothes. And another thing that made me attracted to Gabriel was the first day he visited me. Since I moved into this house, I've been in this house for about two years now. Since I moved in, even from the first day I moved in, one of the wall sockets were not working and it's like a double socket so one was faulty and then immediately he came wanted to plug his phone he saw that he plugged on the in, into the one that is not working and then he said this socket is not working i said yeah it's not working just use the next one so he used it when he went to the shop he got the socket and he fixed it for me by the time i went to plug my phone i saw that the second socket was working and i said he told me he has fixed it i said wow this is a keeper <laughs> from that if anything is faulty like it's quite handy around the house some things that were let's say a knot in the chair was not really properly fixed he would just do it for me without me asking so those were some of the things i saw in him from our first visit and i saw that yeah this person we have to keep this one <laughs>
without talking about your charming and beautiful I see you being a motherly and a caring uh, woman which make my mind think little bit in future thinking if I will have child will this be the right woman so I said this will be for sure the right person to build family and a future and I was aware about the spicy food <laughs> and these things but what can I say little bit spicy in your life it's not bad at all also I see you being a hard-working person intelligent and clever so lovely I said it's okay I'm waiting for the bright future <laughs> So guys, I've got something to add here to you ladies that are abroad and you're searching for love on online dating apps. Let's take an example. You are in America, Canada, Australia, Italy, Germany, the UK, wherever part of the world you are, but you are searching for a guy in that same, same country. So you go online to search for love and then you come across a guy, you are in the UK and the guy is in the UK or you are in America and the guy is in America. It should not exceed one month before you guys meet, no matter how your work schedule can be tight. There is no need for you to chat months and months without meeting. Otherwise, you're going to be opening doors to losers, to guys who are only on online dating apps to talk to someone, but not to meet in real life. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of our story. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. So guys, before I end this video, I want to say congratulations to you, Singto and Gabriel. May God bless you in your marriage. Guys, let us wish them all the best in their marriage. Please subscribe, please like and share. We also have a detailed video of how we met on our channel. You can visit our channel to watch a detailed video of how we met. We also have a wedding video there and we've done a couple of some videos there. So please check out our channel. Our channel is Sinto and Gabriel. We also have Instagram page. We have TikTok page and and we also have Facebook page. We'll be linking them on the screen so you can follow us. Please like, please share, please subscribe. <laughs> and we have some couple of dating tips for everyone. If you're in a situation with a time waster like the way I was, please don't give up, don't lose hope. And if you've been on the dating site for quite a while and you're not meeting anyone, please don't give up, don't lose your hope. Try to watch some How We Met Interracial, How We Met videos on YouTube because that will give you an inspiration that if they can, you can. And also, don't tell yourself you can't because success begins from the mindset. Believe that you can, have an open mind, and for sure God will make it happen. <laughs> Thank you, Bella because your video made me have another go at online dating so thank you <laughs> thank you as well bye see you see you <laughs> and one more last thing like i said they have got a youtube channel their youtube channel name is Sinto and Gabriel. Please check them out. Give them the support. They've got very, very interesting videos. So guys, I've got a little surprise for you. <laughs> Sinto is going to be showing you how to navigate through Interracial Dating Central. Because she told me did not pay on that app, but Gabriel was paying register on interracial dating central to register you just go to www. we have come to an end of our today's video thank you so much guys for watching till now i really appreciate much 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 give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good you're going to learn a lot Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.